We had a little tough time with Elvis a little while ago because our film broke on us. And we want to say, again, thank you very much for your cooperation. And we hope you're going to enjoy your stay in the United States. Mm -hmm. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. Anything you'd like to say to the teenagers as a parting uh, salute here? Well, uh, I'm sorry I didn't get to see them tonight, but uh, I thought it was a little late for them to be out. It was kind of a surprise when they were here. They should have been home in bed, in other words. No, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> thank you. Elvis, thank you very much. So, that wraps up our interview from the barracks here at Fort Chaffee as Private Presley, Elvis A., gets ready for sleep and a busy day tomorrow. Gentlemen, I'll call your name off. Just stay here and raise your hand. Daniel Gilmore. Monty Page or Monty Q. Yeah. William Cobb. Presley Elvis. Wiggins. If you haven't been here in the last three months, you're going to go down and get a physical checkup. After that, you'll be processed by fingerprinting, and then issues here, and numbers, papers typed up, and then you get sworn in later today. The medics will come up and take care of you, and have your papers filled out for the physical. Here, within a year, I want you to tell them when I come in front of you. Okay, I'll get you to the last minute. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. when you were here before. Right, or I'll take your last name. Your first name and your middle name. Is that necessary for the name? Are you good or poor? You're in good health, like good. You're in poor, like poor. Right, besides the problem, the right.
Uh, if, you think that the, if you think rock and roll won't diminish in popularity, what do you think sustains its popularity? What quality of it uh, do you think makes it popular? Well, sir, rock and roll has been around for many years. Uh, it, it used to be called rhythm and blues. And uh, as far back as I can remember, it's, it's been very big, uh, although in the last five years it's gotten much bigger. But I personally don't think it will ever die completely out. It, uh, because they're going to have to get something mighty good to take its place, as far as the young people are concerned. What about, what about cleaning it up, or, or at least uh, improving it morally, and maybe taking the uh, wiggle out of it? Well, sir, you take the wiggle out of it, it's finished. <laughs> have you had <laughs> any incidents? Why, why, why is that? Well, rock and roll music, if you like it, and if you feel it, you can't help but move to it. That's what happens to me. I, I, uh, I can't help it. I mean, I have to move around. I, I can't stand still. I've, I've tried it, and I, I can't do it. You don't think there's anything immoral about that? Have you had any trouble? Have you had any trouble? trouble? Have your buddies uh, given you any nickname in the service? Quite a few. Well, uh, is Hound Dog one of them? Or no, any, not any that you can say? Not too much. Uh, it's usually Trooper or, uh, or uh, GI or, you know, the, 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 the regular. Did your habit of bodily movements uh, get you into any trouble in the service or any incidents that connected with it? Since you say you can't still, it must be pretty hard sometimes. Uh, yes, sir. No sergeants got on top of you for yes, anything sir. like that? Uh, all the sergeants that I worked with were very, very nice people. And all the boys, you couldn't ask for a, a, better, uh, a better group of boys to train with. And uh, we all got along very well. You'd say there was no advantage or no disadvantage in your being a celebrity in the service. That's right, sir. Other than the autographs. I signed quite a few autographs, and, and I had a lot of pictures made with the boys on uh, Sunday afternoon and everything. Is your hair growing back in, Elvis? Or, uh, it's, growing, it's, the eye cut. it's growing out a little, but uh, I won't be able to let it get as long as it was like it out. Can we take a look at it now? Uh, <laughs> just take a look at it. It's not calm now. <laughs> okay, well, I'll, I'll now. Um, Are you planning uh, any performances over? German people or for the armed forces? I don't know, sir. So far, I've just left the army, you know. I've just left on the side with the... After all, should diminish in popularity or even disappear, uh, what would you do? Well, uh, I would probably try acting. I mean, you know, uh, I would try to make good as an actor, although it is a, it's a tough field to break into, acting, because you've got you got so much competition. Well, so much. tell me who have, uh, beside, you've got quite a reception here, but there is a, quite a group of people who don't sort of approve of the thing you do. They yeah. seem to think that it contributes to juvenile delinquency and all sorts of things. You, you haven't have given any thoughts to uh, uh, your, uh, the unpopular side of your audience? Yes, sir, I have. I, I, don't, I, I don't see, I've tried to figure it out, I don't see how they could think that it would contribute to juvenile delinquency. Someone only singing and dancing. I don't, I don't see that because if there's anything I've tried to do, I've tried to live a straight, clean life and uh, not set any kind of a bad example. Well, but I will say this, yeah. excuse me, sir. I, I will say that uh, there are people that are going to like you and people that don't like you, regardless of what business you're in or what you do. Uh, you cannot please everyone. Uh, you, uh, tell me this, Elvis. Uh, there have been a lot of people around the pier here who have been trying to see you, but since you've been in the Army, you've led kind of a cloistered life. Are you? Is it a relief to get away from all the autograph hounds and the hysterical no, females? Sir, it, it is not. Because uh, Elvis, do you still get once, you get, uh, excuse me, once you get used to it, uh, if nobody comes up and asks for an autograph or if no one bothers you, well, then you start worrying. Because he has been almost completely away from singing and acting while in the Army, reporters have plenty of questions about the future to ask Sergeant Elvis Presley. Elvis says he plans to continue with his style of rock and roll singing, but without his famous sideburns. However, his greatest interest is now in serious dramatic acting. Also of great interest to reporters are his feelings about the Army. When asked by a Screen Digest interviewer if his military experience has been beneficial to him in any way, Elvis said, 
He's been a big help in both uh, my career and uh, on my, my, my personal life because I have, I've learned a lot. I've made a lot of friends that I never would have made otherwise. And uh, I've had a lot of good experiences and some bad ones, actually. <laughs> It's good to uh, to rough it, to put yourself to a test, to see if you can take it, to see if you can stand up on it. Another uh, thing we hear a lot about in the Army, especially here, is that we are not only soldiers, but goodwill am ambassadors. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Well, I, uh, that's it's definitely, it stands to reason, because we are in a foreign country, and what we do here uh, will reflect on America and our way of life. As the press conference ends, photographers move in to get that one last picture. An attractive girl reporter gets a kiss, and then an encore as the flash bulbs pop. Elvis has only one day of processing before leaving Usurer. He takes with him many good memories and pride in his military service. The most publicized soldier since Napoleon, uh, Elvis Presley, with girlfriend Priscilla Bolio to see him off, was leaving Frankfurt at the end of his army service. So it was farewell to military glory and to 16-year-old Priscilla. What fame for that girl to have been a friend of the emperor of rock and roll. At Fort Dix, New Jersey, newsreels, TV, the press, the lot, told the world how Elvis came marching home. For 17 interminable months, the cats hadn't seen him. What a price to pay for national defense. But he was home at last, Nancy Sinatra at his side, and the pelvis was all set to take up his career where he laid it down to keep the enemies of Uncle Sam on their side of the curtain. And uh, have you noticed we don't hear half so much talk of that Cold War nowadays? One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock. Quiet, everybody. Elvis is going to speak to the nation. Sobering army life changed your mind about rock and roll? Sobering army life. I was ever in good voice, <laughs> but uh, uh, 
I did a lot of practicing at, you know, at, at home in Germany. In fact, that's about all I did. Because uh, I didn't go out much, and I had uh, some musical instruments and tape recorder and so forth. What so kind of I songs did you sing uh, for your friends, for yourself? Well, all types. Uh, some ballads, some rock and roll. Some classical. Yeah. 